If your summer plans include packing the family for a vacation or a road trip, make sure you don't forget to think about what your dogs might need. Trainer Catherine Newman joins us to show us uh, some important tips. And of course, we also have Poppy here. And she's just a year old, you said? Yep, she turned a year in May. So, yep. She's so it can up. be done that a, that a puppy, though, I mean, one year old is, is a puppy puppy, and she's very well behaved. Well, thank you very so much. So that goes to you and what you apparently know what you're talking about because <laughs> thank Poppy's, you. Poppy's the proof for that. So the first thing, if dog is going to travel with you, is how you're going to travel. Correct. And so it is super important that you keep safety at the top of your mind when you're traveling with your pet. Oh, really? And so, of course, when we travel with our dog, the safest place for them to travel is in a crate. And if you are going to stay at a hotel or at a bed and breakfast or at a friend's house, mm -hmm. Taking the crate along is a good idea so that way your dog is safe and secure and can't cause any damage if they're left alone. And you won't have a big bill at the end of this Correct. because the, the hotel room was Correct. trashed. Yep. So we were lucky enough to go down and visit the Contented Cottage down in Northfield mm -hmm. and they're a B&B. And so as we started preparing for this, this trip, it's like, okay, what does Poppy need to go? No. First of all, you're going to want to teach your dog to hop into the crate. We right. know a lot of dogs, big heavy dogs, they have to pick up and put into the car. But getting them to go in on command, and here is something that's really important, making sure that they wait coming out of the crate. You hear of dogs that get lost on vacation. Right. A lot of times it's because they dash out the door. Whether it's the door of the hotel room mm -hmm. or the car door, we want to make sure that they wait until their leash is safely attached. So how far in between, how do you even start that for a dog that maybe, you know, goes like this if you would try to put him in a crate? It, it starts with the crate on the ground, tossing treats inside, and you do it every day. You just don't jump to, pardon the pun, having right. them <laughs> jump into the car, but you start at a very basic level and you just build up and it turns into a game. And then over time, it's just, you tell them to kennel up and they go in. Right, no big deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, number two is to brush up on those obedience skills. Skills. She's doing a great job, but sit and stay. Y yes, and so keep in mind that when you're going to be traveling with your pet, you are going to be greeting people um, either in the hallway, in the front foyer of the lobby of, of the hotel or the bed and breakfast, or even at restaurants in an outdoor eating situation. And so your dog needs to be under control. You, you want your dog to be a good citizen. So brushing up on your basic obedience skills, <laughs> a heel and a sit to greet are absolutely imperative. Um, keep in mind, traveling with your pet and staying at a bed and breakfast or at a hotel, it, it's a privilege to take your dog. It's not an entitlement. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure our dogs are well behaved. What if you have a dog that's six, seven years old and, you know, not quite great on the obedience yet, you know, pulling on the leash and everything. How do you, I mean, for a puppy, you think, okay, they can learn. What about those older dogs? The oldest dog that I ever trained in basic obedience was 11. He was an 11 year old <laughs> uh, Dalmatian and his family just kept thinking that he would end up calming down and he never did. And then right. they were expecting a grandchild. So, you know, no time like the present to train a dog, but yes, older dogs can train up as well. And sometimes it might take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't. Treats so, work though, huh? Yep. So we got a couple of other segments coming up here or yep. um, uh, yes. videos. And so what I wanted to show on this next one is basically, you know, working on that heel command and yep. that sit to greet. So there should be, there we go, here we go. We're going up the stairs and you can see that in this situation at the B&B &B that we were visiting, yep. um, long flight of staircases. And so we don't want our dog pulling us around. And so that heel command is very, very important. And then here's the thing, the sit to greet. Um, nobody likes a dog who jumps up. Right. Nobody likes a dog who's out of control or is distracted and pulling. So good manners are important. And you wanna make sure that your dog can maintain their composure when they're being petted as well. And, and again, just practicing that is oh, key beforehand. Tre tremendous, I mean, if you're going on vacation in the next two weeks, start brushing up now. Yep. Um, every time you greet somebody on a walk, Go Just over and, and visit your neighbors. And don't always feel like your dog has to greet somebody on a walk. Just make them sit there and do the sit stay. Right. And lastly, respecting the rules of where you're staying. A absolutely. The B&B &B that we attended uh -huh. allows dogs of smaller size. So we were really, really lucky that the Contented Cottage was welcoming to um, Poppy. And so, but when we are in a public 
setting, we want our dog under control. And so that means when we're in public areas, we want our dog on contr under control and we did a down stay with her here so that way she's not roaming all over the place. But the other thing to keep in mind is if they say, okay, dogs are only allowed in these particular areas, mm -hmm. respect those rules, recognize that when you travel with your pet and you're staying at a hotel, you might be paying a little bit of a pet fee and mm -hmm. that's for the extra cleaning charge when your dog leaves. And of course, clean up after your dog. Uh, nobody likes it when your dog leaves a mess. Right, exactly. Well, Poppy, you did very well here today. So well behaved. She knows what she's talking about. For more details about Catherine and any of the tips she talked about today, check out care11.com.